Two notable corruptions of scripture to favor is a comprehensive research treatise written by Sir Isaac Newton in 1690. Regarded by many as the best scientist ever lived. A fascinating story of the legendary passage of ecumenical history that tells us how John Locke an unparalleled epistemologist while visiting the library in Saint Germain in Paris saw two ancient manuscripts of the New Testament at least 800 years old with differing verses in 1 John 5.7 quite wanting. Three pages of a letter written by Thomas Jefferson to John Adams on August 22, 1813. First handwritten page. Jefferson wrote it is too late in the day for men of sincerity to pretend they believe in platonic intimate love of mysticisms that three are one and one is three, and yet the one is not three and the three are not one. Also he wrote sweep away the gossamer fabrics of a fictitious religion. On page Thomas Jefferson wrote I am disemboweled meaning cut open organs and removed by the modern paganism. Jefferson requests John Adams not to disclose to anyone in these words. I enclose it to you with entire confidence free to be pursued by yourself and Mrs. Adams. But no one else and to be returned to me. I am totally in disbelief. It is not only the Catholic Christians who have been fooled made to believe in the mystic religion but the whole world. President John Kennedy acknowledging the important quality of Thomas Jefferson said at a gathering of the Nobel Prize winners hosted at the White House. I think this is the most extraordinary collection of talent of human knowledge that has been gathered together at the White House except when Thomas Jefferson didn't alone. President Kennedy may have read what President Jefferson wrote about the Trinity. Believe in the fabrication of mysticism, the gossamer religion is modern paganism. John Locke made a journal entry on 29, 1679 while visiting the library at St. Germain's in Paris. While referencing he noted in two old copies of the New Testament 1 John 5 verse 7 were different to each other. He had a dialogue with Sir Isaac Newton which led to Newton research of the corruption. After 11 years of research in 1690 Newton published his work titled Historical Account of Two Notable Corruptions of Scripture. A copy Thomas Jefferson secured while in France during 1784-1789 serving as the Minister of American Interest in Europe. 